Richard Kelly was, was an amazing person. His understanding of architecture, you know, was unmatched. And he could match the light to the architecture. And his daughter is the lighting designer today, following in his footsteps. Um, but I, I don't know if anybody will do the kind of pristine work that Richard Kelly did. Uh, his wife was a very extraordinary woman. And um, I knew them very well. And Richard used to call me the kid. And, Who's that kid? He's going to do something someday. <laughs> and another signature fixture in the lighting business was Edison Price. Edison Price was a genius who made the most perfect architecture lighting equipment. So, and Richard Kelly and Edison Price were like, um, like a marriage made in heaven in terms of lighting. When Edison Price died, I was one of the people who was called on to give some words at, the, at his service. So I did this as best I could, heaped every praise I could imagine, because when you used his equipment, not only did you get best equipment, you got the best advice as if you were, if you were using it properly. So you were really had a, a second opinion on the use of that equipment to what you wished to do. And it was incredible. But I was a crazy kid. I was a runner around and so that. So when I finished my talk and I'm leaving the pulpit, coming up the aisle to go back to my seat, Betty Kelly stands up and says, Howard, what wife are you on these days? <laughs> you want to wish there would be a hole would open up <laughs> and you fall through. But, but it was wonderful to have this kind of close relationship with these very, very gifted people. You can only be as good as the quality of the criticism you receive. So if you mingle with the gods, you might one day join them. Edison Price um, had a Brazilian physicist work with him who understood light and physics and, and, and optical properties as well as anybody who lived. And the two were just an un, unmatched pair. And uh, if there was anything you needed to know in terms of the physics of light or the calculations of light, you went to Isaac, you got the real word. And the real word is important. And I learned that very young because I had these wonderful mentors. So I knew that if you needed to get an answer for something, you go to somebody of that caliber. In America, we have this expression, the horse's mouth. If you get the word from the horse's mouth, you got the true word. Well, that, you know, and I did that. I went to Stanley McCandless. You know, I'd go to Edison Price. I'd go to Thomas Smith, to, to Smith, you know, Lou Smith. So I, when I would, became a teacher very young, uh, I would put all the names of famous people, very famous people, real horses, in a hat. And I'd have my students draw the names out of the hat. I'd say, now, here is Sigmund Freud. Here is Stanislavski. Here is Copernicus. Go find out what they said about light. That could be light, it could be an analogy, it could be a metaphor, it could be an allegory, but these people all had something to say about light. And come back and then read it to the class. So they got an insight to all these brilliant people and what they thought about light. 
and getting this perspective I thought was one of the most important things that I could give to my class. They said, and do you know what the moral of the story is? And they'd look at me and said, the moral of the story is, if you get the word from the horse's mouth, you get the true word. If you get it from anywhere else, you might be getting it from the other end of the horse. <laughs>